Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Oh, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here again with my flip up folio um, thing that we have been making. And I just thought that I would come along because I'm working on it and do a few more bits and pieces with you guys. So, so far we have done um, these kind of bits here. And since the last video, I've just added this little pocket on here, some lace at the top, a little label and some bits of ribbon. Um, I think that's all I've done. And then I'm now working on kind of, you know, the next section. So going over, I've just taken one of my little labels and popped it down here. I've got this one, which is a kind of pre-prepared, pre-prepared pocket, which I just thought I would stick on this page. So again, if you watch my previous video, I'm using, um, you know, gold elements, touches of gold um, paint just around the edges of pieces just you know for prettiness so I'm just doing that here as well so as to you know keep up with what we've been doing basically so I've got that one there that looks pretty so I'm just going to glue that down now this one here I've literally folded the sides in but not the bottom so all I'm going to do is like glue here and again I'm just using hot glue because it's nice and quick and then glue here so my side pieces like that oops and then go in like that and just glue the whole thing down i hope i've got that vaguely straight i can't really see to be honest because i'm sat down the folio is kind of flat to me i should have really stood up to check it was straight so that's that one now the next piece that i've got i made another pocket here so again i'm just going to ink that up around the edges and this one i've you know folded up the bottom edge as well and then again i'm just going to go in with my ink of gold for some you know some gold touches again just so it's all lovely um you know complimentary and doing the same thing throughout the whole folio so or you know not necessarily doing the same thing but you know we've got yeah consistency i guess so we just put that lovely gold on there bit of gold here and here okay now this one i've got this little flap piece here and I thought it would be nice to then have this flap opening out to the side so for the inside flap we could then put another label or a journaling spot or something like that in there so perhaps we'll just have this little label going in there <clears throat> so again just ink that up whoops 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 Okay, and then that can go on there. Again, I'm just going to put some gold on there. Because it's tying in. Oops. Okay. I'm just going to pop that one down there. And this time I'll just use my wet glue. And I'll put it on as a pocket. I know I always say this, but you know, put it on as a pocket and then you've got the choice. You don't have to use it as a pocket, but you've got the option. If you don't even put it on as a pocket, you know, you haven't got that choice further down the line. So I really like to just, you know, leave as many bits as pockets as I can. The only time really that I don't is, well, if I forget, obviously, that's, um, yeah, that's frequent, you know, that that happens. Or, you know, like occasionally maybe if the journal's becoming like way, way, way too fat that it's like, well, I can't, can't have anything else going on there. Or like here, where you can't really get to that now anyway because it's tucked behind a pocket. Um, but aside from that, you know, then if I can get things down as pockets, then I do try and do that. So for this, what I want to do is then glue this one flat down to that page before I put the pocket down if that makes sense. So just going to cut this down here like that and there. Just going to trim that down there. Okay. 
And then do we want to ink this with some gold or maybe round the edges? So let's maybe round the edges of this one. Like that. And here. Not going to round the other side. I'm just going to ink it up slightly. Again, just, you know, on the edges. Okay. Right. And then again, I'm just going to get some of that ink of gold. Okay, I've been um, wetting it with my, my water spray. It's just kind of making it, you know, slightly easier to use. So, again, just go around those edges. Oops, got a bit much there. Oh, I went a bit, a bit mad with the uh, ink gold on that one, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Okay, right, so that looks nice. I might just have a little touch here and there on the inside as well. Not too mad, but just a bit. Okay, right, Let's put this away. Well, not put it away, because we'll be using it again, I'm sure, but out, out of the way, just so that I can do this. Right, so I want to have this down here, and then I'm going to butt my pocket up against the flap, if that makes sense. So I'm going to get this one down first. Oops. like that okay like that just press that down now hopefully get it to glue down okay and then whilst I'm at it I've got this little label which I thought just looked gorgeous and you know went really nicely so again just going to do a little bit of inking I don't know why I keep saying inking rubbing the gold paint around the edge so just tiny bits here and there again just for that consistency and that you know free-flowing gold theme that I've got going on everywhere else in the folio it just kind of enables it to keep on doesn't it so pop that there and then I've been using this curly ribbon so I might have some curly ribbon somewhere um, I've also obviously been using lace because of course, you know, of course to use lace. Um, so just wondering, yeah, let's do that. So I'll just cut that down. Okay, get rid of that header piece. Oh dear, right. Oh my goodness. Right, so let's just put this here like that. And then pop that label down again. I just like to hot glue through the through the lace, if that makes sense. So, you know, just hot, hot glue in this piece and that will then just glue that lace down as well. So, doesn't necessarily work. If it's not a very holy lace, that's not necessarily going to work. But this is quite an open lace. So, you know, it's got plenty of room for the glue to seep through. Um, if it were a closed lace, you know, quite a closed one, you might have to then glue the lace separately. So just, you know, play around and you'll get, get a feel for which one is going to work and which one's not. Okay, right. And I'm just going to then pop this pocket down. I mean, even we could even have it over here, to be honest. We don't really even have to have it butted up against this. I was thinking we'd have it right over here, but no, I'm not so sure. Let's just have a look. Um, hmm. Oh, I don't know now. Oh, well, let's just go for it. We'll put it there, you know, butted up against it because that was my first thoughts. And, you know, maybe we might want to do something else later, which, you know, then we've got room at that side for if we do. We probably won't, but, <laughs> but leaving options. Leaving options just in case. The reason we probably won't is because I probably won't even remember. Won't even remember that I've even even talked about it or it's even entered my head for the briefest of moments oh dear but yeah who knows who knows okay so that's that piece loving how that looks right so do we want to have some of this lace lace not lace ribbon trim down here or maybe across the top of this pocket again just for that continuity 
because we've been doing that on some of the other pieces, it's kind of fun then to continue with the same sort of theme, isn't it? I mean, I might not necessarily when we go inside, but this is all, to me, this is all part of the same, you know, outside cover, if you see what I mean. Um, so I feel like this bit especially needs to be quite matching or have the, the same theme following through, even if we don't when we go inside. Okay, love how that looks. Right, want to do something here. I haven't quite decided what that might be yet. So let's just take a little bit of lace and see whether we might want that, because I'm thinking we would. Thinking we definitely would. All right, let's move that out of the way. Didn't ink up as much as I should have done for this piece of lace. So let's just cut this down. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right, that's quite nice like that. And then now what shall we have? on the inside of here. I'm wondering if we could have, well, we've got this journaling card, which I don't think we ended up, well, we clearly we didn't use it because the fact we've still got it. Um, <laughs> but what I meant was, you know, did we have two of those and we've used it somewhere else? I don't think we did. Um, hmm, I've also got some of my bright butterflies actually in oranges and things. So I'm now suddenly thinking, you know, because I'd forgotten about those. But yeah, I've just kind of spotted them now in my little ephemera packet. So let's just take out any at all that might be kind of, you know, suitable colors for this. Okay, right. Oh, oops. I mean, there are some butterfly um, fussy cuts in with the kit, but I just happen to have this on my lap and obviously these are ready cut out, ready to use. So I'm thinking, oh, maybe I will just use some of these to be a bit lazy. Got this label. Right, let's just ink this label up. Now is that gonna be too wide for there? I'm not sure. Okay. Whoops. I'm thinking kind of like that. And we could even have that hinged, to be honest. Um, yeah, we could even hinge that piece. What do we think? Uh, oh, I don't know now. Let me just have a look and see what paper I've got here left. So I'm thinking, what would I hinge it with? I could hinge it with this piece. Let's just take this. Okay. Let's just fold that down there. Okay. And then I'm just going to trim this down. like that and here right let's just squish this down so what we could do is have this hinged oops oh come on oh my goodness no wonder I'm struggling I've dropped bits and all sorts so we could have that hinged there so this is actually then a fold out piece oh isn't that annoying look because i hadn't double sided that oh dear let me just see what other actual double sided pieces i have got because um yeah just in case i could use something else that has been double sided um So we could no, all that one. Mm. Oh, I don't know now. 
I mean, really, it could do with being a bit slimmer than this anyway. So, yeah. I'm really quite liking this side, to be honest. Do you know, should we give that one a try? So let's just trim that down. Right, okay, so let's now, let's now see what this would look like hinged here. That's not too bad, is it? Let's see whether it looks better without the, with the flowers or without the flowers. Do you know, I might just cut it down here. Like that. Oh, I love how that looks. That's absolutely gorgeous. Right, okay. So, what we want to do is obviously glue this down onto our front bit. I might just have it slightly narrower at the front because it doesn't really need to be as wide as all that. Okay, and we will just pop the glue down there. Okay. Oh, what a wally. Now I've done it on the wrong side. What is wrong with me? <laughs> oh, honestly. Oh, I'm going to blame my neighbour. Because I don't know if you can hear that. As I glued that, they um, started up their, I don't know whether it's their lawnmower, their strimmer, their, I don't know, some sort of outside equipment, you know, for their garden. So I'm just going to say that's their fault, you know, because I was then thrown off the scent couldn't focus on what I was doing because I suddenly heard their their machinery. Let's just blame it on them. They'll never know. Well, I mean, obviously they won't ever know because they don't watch my channel or anything. So yes, I can definitely just blame them. Okay, right. It's always good to blame somebody else, isn't it, for things that we do? No, it's not really, is it? I mean, I tell my daughter, don't blame other people. But you know what I mean. It's always more fun, more fun to blame other people. Right, <laughs> okay, so that's that piece. Love how that looks. Got there eventually. I know, it took a while. And then on here, obviously, we can put another... We can put either a pocket or a little journaling spot. I've been putting lots of journaling spots in here, so I'm thinking another journaling spot would be good because that's kind of then got continuity with the other pieces that we've been doing. So let's just take this. Thinking, ooh. I'm going to have to shut the window in a minute. I do apologise because it's really noisy. I'm so sorry. Right, let me just nip and close that window. I do apologise. Oh. Oh, right, okay. Open the window there. So sorry about that. I mean, clearly they were not doing that when I started the video. So I do apologise. Honestly, sometimes you think people waiting on purpose no, I mean of course they're not waiting on purpose but you know I mean to be fair it's you know I mean not that they know that I'm up here filming anyway but and of course they never expect them to you know select their grass cutting time around my filming or anything like that of course not um but I mean the whole point is you know <laughs> I'm filming like all the time when the kids are at school so I mean to be honest when would they be able to um, get their chores done anyway? So, yeah. And of course, like I say, never in a million years, you know, expect them or anything else. Right, okay. So, yeah. Again, I'm just going to round those corners because then that's nice and, you know, uniform and kind of like looks a little bit tidier and more professional and things I think so we'll just then pop this down okay let's just ink around the edges here okay ok 
Okay, and then just glue, whoops, glue this one down. Okie dokie, like that. Once again, just spread my glue. Okay, there we go. Nice, 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 nice. Right. Okay, right. Wipe that excess glue off. Yep, all looking good. Right, okay. And then might just round these corners as well, just so those so edges look nice as well. Yeah, okay. And then I'm just going to literally glue that in, you know, tucked into that um, envelope. So like that. Oh, look, and just totally by accident that was, but look, it's the same. Which I quite like that, to be honest, because it's it's not like it's running in the same line. It's just slightly lower. So I think that's quite nice that it's kind of mimicking what was there. So, yeah, I really like that. And that was just by chance. So as luck had it. Right, let's open that so that I don't glue it closed, because, of course, I do that all the time as well. Okay. Right, let's now just glue this bit of lace down here at the side. Oh, I love how this is looking now. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oops, what's that from? What's that from? Oh, I was going to have it on that, um, you know, the, the other pocket thing that I was going to have here, wasn't I? I mean, we could even have a pocket, I guess, in there. Shall I just trim this down slightly smaller? Because it's a bit wide, you know, to fit in there. So we'll just make that slightly smaller. And then we could have that as a little side pocket as well. And perhaps we'll have that label up there. What do we think? Yeah, I think that's quite nice. Right. Um... <gasps> Oh, decisions, decisions. Yeah, just deciding, did I want to ink this up? Yes, of course I do. Did I ink that one up? I don't think I did, did I? Oh, gosh. And this is the point, isn't it? You know, I mean, I forget all the time to do things. So when I said about, oh, I, I try and glue things down where I can as pockets, I know that I've said recently, you know, I mean, of course, there are loads of times where I obviously forget to do that because yeah, I'm just pretty rubbish at remembering things, to be honest. So, yeah. With the best will in the world, don't always remember to do all of these different things that we talk about. But, you know, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is it's good practice to just get into the habit of glue things down as pockets, you know, instead of flat. And then you can use them as a pocket, but you don't have to. But of course, it's not essential. Okay, right. Okay, so we have got numerous pockets now going on here. Absolutely loads. Which was what we wanted. Of course, was what we wanted. Right, do we want that there? Oh, loving these butterflies. Yep, so these are my bi uh, bright, but bright butterflies. And yeah, I just kind of suddenly thought, oh, you know, some of those are going to go really nicely because obviously, you know, there's many of them in shades of orangey and, you know, um, reds and sort of yellowy colours. So I just thought, oh, they're going to look, you know, pretty on here. So, yeah, they just kind of not caught my eye, but, you know, I just remembered them. Right, let's just pop this down just again, just using hot glue just to be super lazy because it's quick. Quick and easy and it's just going to be glued down. I don't have to worry about then, is it glued down or not? It is glued down. Like that. And then I'm just going to put this butterfly here, which will hopefully keep this closed. So, just put that there like that. Okay, 
So that's acting just as a little closure then for this. And I love sort of using things like that because, you know, it just makes it really quick and easy. You don't have to worry about, you know, thinking up a closure or anything else. It's, it's just done and dusted then, isn't it? So, yeah, that just kind of then opens. Now, I'm just thinking might be able to use one of my little brown labels on here because I think they would go quite nicely. So let's just have a look and see. Oh, let's do that one. It's really grungy and nice, doesn't it? So, yeah. Oh, let's have it there. Absolutely starving today. Had my smoothie this morning. Had it with the usual stuff that I have it with, you know, banana, spinach, cucumber, all of that. And um, yeah, for some reason, I'm really hungry. So yeah, obviously was not particularly filling one today. I mean, sometimes I guess it probably even depends things like, you know, how big was the banana and, you know, how big were the lumps of spinach or the cucumber? Because I mean, of course I just, just chop randomly or, you know, chuck in randomly. So of course it's gonna be variable, isn't it? But yeah, very, very hungry. Just find it annoying because it's very distracting when you're hungry. Hard to stay focused really on what you're doing. Right. Oh my gosh, I'm hungry. My stomach's rumbling now like mad. Oh, I'm not so sure now. Um, let me just take this one down. Oh my goodness, I really should put my glove, gloves, <laughs> put my gloves on for this. Really should put my glasses on for this because uh, it's a bit of a trickier shape. Oh, but of course I'm not putting my glasses on and so now I'm just winging it and hoping for the best. And you're probably watching this thinking, what's she doing? She's just literally butchered that, that tag label thing. Looks nothing like it did at first, but yeah. I just couldn't be bothered to uh, reach onto my head to pull my glasses down. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry that you can hear my tummy rumbling. I'm so hungry and just, yeah, really apologise. And I don't know why I'm so hungry. It's really not that late. I think it's about 12.30. And I mean, to be honest, I know, I mean, my mum always says, oh, well, that is lunchtime. I don't tend to have my lunch until about 2.30. So, you know, this is kind of a good couple of hours earlier than I would normally have lunch. So, yeah, I definitely shouldn't be having a, you know, rumbling tummy or anything. So, uh, yeah, I do apologise. Right, that's that piece done like that. So, loving how this is coming along, I must say. It's really, really pretty. So, that's the entire now front section all done of that lift up flap. So, we can then lift that whole flap up now. And then we've got obviously, you know, the whole rest of the folio now, you know, left to go and left that needs decorating and embellishing and what have you. So this just seems like a natural kind of place to leave it, I think, for today. Um, and then I will come back and we will obviously work our way through, um, you know, some more of the journal. So, or some more of the folio, perhaps I should say. Yeah, I really hope that you're liking it. I love how it's looking so far. It's really, really super pretty. And um, yeah, I hope that you guys like it as well. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Thanks then. Bye.